Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to show you solar ignition again. This time we'll use the Wallet Fresnel lens. You can get a three pack of them on Amazon for I think less than $10. But any Wallet Fresnel lens will work. Always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. And I always like to show you me pulling it out of the wallet to emphasize how easy it is to carry this thing. You'll never know it's back there until you need to make some emergency fire. So I'm gonna go behind me here and get the same leaves that I got in yesterday's video. And I'll pack them into my hand right here and just take a couple of minutes to take and warm them up to build an ember and create a big enough ember to where it's self-sustaining, blow it into flames and put it on top of the other leaves such an easy thing to do yes it takes patience yes it takes practice let me show you now when you pack this into your palm and you hold it just like this you are not going to burn yourself because you are insulated from the heat because you're creating your ember right down here in the center so you'll have to get over your fear of fire and it needs it does need to be packed in there because the particles have to be close enough where it can transfer that heat. Let's see what happens. You know, put these ridges towards the sun. And this is 10 o'clock sun. It's not the most powerful sun, but it'll work. You want to hold the magnifier square to the sun. Oh man, that, that is a hazy sky, but we're still going to do this. It just got a lot brighter. So some of them clouds have moved out from in front of the sun. Let's, ju let's just come back when it's better sun. I'll give you a shot of the haziness I'm talking about. All right, it's close to 11 o'clock. Let's go ahead and give it a try. switched hands. Now I'm holding the tinder bundle in my left hand and we'll be applying some focal point from the right hand. Be patient. Give it at least two minutes to build up a depth of ember. You have to have a depth of ember for this to work. If it's just on top, when you go to blow on it, It'll burn out. If I had to guess how deep the ember should be before you start blowing on it, no less than a quarter inch, preferably three eighths of an inch deep. Like I said, wear your shades. You do not, you do not want to stare at that focal point for an extended period of time like this without eye protection. And I'm still having issues with clouds in and out from the front of the sun. But we got it on the go. I mean, I don't care if I have to stand here four minutes.
if you're coordinated enough to blow on it while you still have the focal point trained on it that's that's the ideal way to develop that ember and make it big the wind is helping us out a lot I've never had anybody contact me and say that they have tried this technique and well even tried it much less tell me that they've done it and it's worked for them so I know that people has a fear of fire but um the more you get over that fear of fire, the better fire maker you'll become. I'm not talking about being irresponsible. You can respect the fire, but you don't need to be afraid of it. Yeah, I've got some very weak sun. So I'm hoping that I have driven that ember deep enough where it'll be able to respond and, and grow when I blow on it. I'm at about half sun. Let's keep trying. This is part of the enjoyment, the challenge of it. Don't get excited when you see a flame pop up like that. I saw it, you probably didn't. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> it finally dried those leaves out enough to make them burn. Good. Let's put some sticks on top of it. Yeah, might as well turn it towards the wind. It's not too hot to pick up.